support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. All right. We have our next guest here. Hello. Good morning, Scott. Good How morning. Are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. I'm a little bit rough in the voice after three days of talking. We all are. <laughs> yeah. We get it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just good at pushing through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. As soon as I'm done, I'm not going to be able to talk for a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. I'm Robert Hoors. I'm a CEO of Squat Mobility. Okay. And tell me about that. So, Squat Mobility is a, is a um, compact solar city car, uh, especially for uh, Europe, it's, it's, it's a city car. In US, most of our pre-orders, because we're doing uh, pre-orders at the moment, are for communities, gated communities, golf cart communities, resorts, uh, all kinds of use cases, uh, campuses. Okay, very cool. So, uh, tell me about the vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's downstairs in uh, Eureka Park. It's, it's, it's a very compact, it's only two meter long. Um, some people say it looks like a, uh, a, a golf cart, the next generation golf cart, just to put an image okay. out there. And uh, uh, it's a very small solar car with a solar panel on top Okay. here in Las Vegas. Why aren't there more vehicles with solar panel roofs is beyond me. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Here it's a great idea. Here in Vegas, uh, we could charge 30 kilometer uh, each day. Uh, okay. The average usage of these kind of small vehicles is around 12 kilometers per day. So if you would buy the vehicle here um, in Las Vegas, you would use it here as an average user. You would never have to charge again. Okay. So you could basically drive yeah. for the next 10 years. And yeah, uh, you're good to go. Without, without charging. Okay. It's, it's very affordable. Uh, it starts... Uh, well, actually, the base model starts without doors. A lot of people laugh when I say that. But... Uh, um, it starts uh, with, um, at 6,500 euros. Okay. Uh, dollars, sorry. Uh, uh, with doors is 7,500 uh, 7, okay. dollars. Yeah. Interesting. So for 6,500, I can get a around the neighborhood, around yeah. the local area vehicle yeah. Yeah. without doors. So it's a Jeep. We're fine, <laughs> right? Because yeah. yeah. people love... That aspect of, of yeah. those vehicles. So, yeah. um, so for sixty five hundred, I can get a going around town, going around the neighborhood. You know, short uh, errand this is type. neighborhood electric vehicle. Yeah, and depending you on where we are, potentially never have to charge it. Yeah, well, Las Vegas obviously is very good. Yeah, uh, we are from the Netherlands. We are at, at the Dutch Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Netherlands is very bad. So, sure. on, on a nice sunny day in the Netherlands, you could charge twenty two kilometers. But okay. it's still way more than the 12 on still average. Still more than the 12, yeah. In the winter in the Netherlands, uh, the worst case situation, then it's worse. But um, sure. over the whole year, you could you could charge on solar 60 to 70 kilometers on average. Or 60 to 70 percent on average of your whole usage. Nice. So for, for most of us, we're from Florida. so Florida is very good. Other than, you know, the occasional yeah. hurricane, we... <laughs> We're yeah. very similar to to Nevada here yeah. in that it's mostly sunny all the time. Yeah. We're the sunshine state. Yeah. So, yeah, for us, it would be yeah. perfect. We and might, then you have the options of the doors. We might want the doors because of the possible rain. but <laughs> Yeah, the rain and, 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 and in the heat in the summer, uh, oh, you can have enough. optional air conditioning okay. as well. So, uh, so here, this year, uh, so here we uh, uh, demonstrated as a, the solar buggy. With a with a rack on the back where you can put surfboards or, or golf bags or w whatever you need to. Sure. Uh, so that's a special, um, and we get a huge amount of pre-orders from the U.S. Well, that's fantastic. Um, pre-orders. Does that mean that we're not yet in market? No, not yet. We need another year of okay. development to go into production. We're looking to uh, do the final assembly of the vehicle in the market in the U.S. market. Uh, okay. For yeah. Gotcha. So most of the pre-orders come from. Gated communities, resorts, uh, Florida, California, Nevada, uh, Arizona. Yeah. Golf club neighborhoods, probably. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's probably pretty popular because yeah. uh, I know uh, my parents live out on, on the beach and they allow golf carts and stuff on the, on the roads now. Yeah. And 10% of the Americans live in uh, communities. So mm -hmm. 35 million people. It's quite substantial. 
So, how long has this been in production? Uh, in development. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. For, for, for uh, three years now. Three years? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We are started. Yeah. How did you decide that this was the problem you wanted to solve? Um, the electric cars solve part of the problem, but they don't solve urban mobility, urban congestion, parking problems, um, all these 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 uh, problems uh, with urban mobility, and also the affordability of cars. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people cannot afford an electric car. Sure. Uh, and this segment in in US, it's uh, low speed vehicle LSV. In Europe, it's L6, L7. L6 is 45 km an hour, and L7 is 70 km an hour. LSV is 25 miles an hour okay. in the US. Um, those segments offer an opportunity to make a very affordable vehicle, uh, where all of us can afford uh, electric or even a solar electric car. Sure. On top of that, we're using swappable batteries. So you batteries is going to be the next question. That's the next question. So, <laughs> so obviously, so uh, you can have uh, up to four swappable batteries, each 1.6 kilowatt hour that you can actually swap out and carry. Uh, you can charge them in the car. You can charge them separately. And okay. f the four batteries give a, a, a battery range. We call it a battery range of 100 kilometer. So you have the battery range of 100 kilometer, and then on top of that you have the solar range here in Las Vegas. An, an additional 30 kilometer, so 130 kilometer altogether. Wow! So <laughs> I mean that would more than cover. Yeah, and if you the, the occasion everybody is daily. Yeah, and the, the, in the occasional case that you want to travel 200 kilometer, you you can just take extra batteries with you, of course. Sure. Yeah. How much do the batteries cost? Around a thousand. Okay. Uh, dollar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. So you get two batteries with the car, uh, and you can expand it to four. Gotcha. So, in addition to the affordability of the vehicle, yeah, it's way less than some of the other, other electric vehicles. We won't name yeah. anybody. Yeah, whose uh, battery arrays cost as much, if not more, than the car itself. Sometimes. Well, yeah, and also the size of the battery. The total size is six point four kilowatt hour. Uh, if you look at an average EV nowadays, it's ten times as much. So, with an average EV. You have the same battery, the same impact, the same resources as ten of our cars. Yeah. Okay. And they're only weigh three hundred fifty kilograms, so they're also very light and very efficient. Yeah. Fascinating. Um, so you said we're looking at availability next year, taking pre-orders now. What does yeah. the pre-order process look like? On the website, uh, it's very easy. In Europe, we have a pre-order fee uh, for the first one hundred is five thousand euros. Then the first uh, thousand is 100 euros. The basic European version, 50 euros. Outside of Europe, that's the good news. There's no pre-order fee, so you can pre-order it in the US basically without for free without a pre-order fee. So just to to get in line uh, to make sure you have your vehicle uh, when you're ready. Yeah, very cool. Uh, it, people are going to want more information. How can they get it? S Squadmobility.com uh, on the website. You can find everything you need on YouTube. We have some uh, videos, some, uh, uh, and you can find online some uh, some reviews of the vehicle. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you coming and talking to me today. Thank this you is a much. cool product, Thank and you. I uh, I hope you have a good launch. Thank you very much. For have sure. a nice day. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.